I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason why I should ever let you go mm. I don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get in Hey there everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. Today I'm gonna to share with you guys some DIY trash to treasure winter decor ideas that will hopefully give you some inspiration on how to transition from Christmas decor into the winter season. Now winter is starting officially on Saturday so I think this is perfect timing. And if you're looking for more winter decor ideas, I've created a playlist of all my past videos for winter decor and that is linked up above and down below in the description box. And if you're new to my channel and you like home decors and DIYs on a budget, make sure to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. Also, make sure to follow me over on Instagram and tag me so that I can see your creations over there. And follow me on Facebook and join my Facebook group so you can share your creations over there and those links are down below in the description box as well. All right, let's get started on the DIYs today. For the first DIY, I'm gonna reuse an old pillow cover that the zipper actually broke off on and I was just gonna throw it away. But since this is such a blank pillow cover um, and I can do anything with it, I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix it and make this into a decorative winter pillow. So I'm gonna use these fabric transfer sheets by Avery. They are for inkjet printers only. And I'm gonna create an image and I'm going to mirror that image and print it out on one of these sheets of paper. Now I'm just gonna cut my image out, and when you cut your image out, you want to cut it close to the actual image, but you wanna leave a little bit of the white, so that way it's easier to peel off the backing of your image after you transfer onto whatever you're transferring it onto. So what I did was just lay the image upside down on my pillowcase and use my iron on a higher heat setting, um, but no steam setting, and just leave it on there until the image was transferred. This did take a while and it still didn't come out perfect, but I liked how it came out even though it wasn't perfect. And then I just went ahead and stuffed my pillow with some old stuffing. And to close up the zipper part, I just met the zipper at the bottom and use some hot glue and that was it I had a winter decorative pillow Baby with her. This next DIY is super easy and useful. I got the idea off of Pinterest. It's just a bucket to store your ice melt salt that you sprinkle on your sidewalks to melt the ice. Um, so I'm gonna use this bucket that I found at the Habitat for Humanity store. It's an old bucket. It already looks worn and old, just like this. It was $5, so it was perfect for this project. And I'm gonna use these stencils from Dollar Tree. Specifically, I'm using Using these snowflake stencils to stencil onto the bucket I just use white chalk paint and I just dabbed my brush into the white chalk paint and then like kind of brushed it off onto a paper towel so I barely used any paint to um, put over these stencils so that way there was no bleed through and then I poured my salt into my bucket and then next I decided to tie a bow around the handle of my bucket um, this ribbon just came from Joanne fabrics it was 50% off and then for this scoop to scoop out my salt I'm gonna use this old mason jar that I had and that was it For the next DIY, I'm gonna use a palette that I picked up in someone's trash a while back, and I'm gonna use it as a front porch sign and decorate it for winter. So what I'm gonna do is the front of it, I decided to just um, put a coat of chalk paint. I first decided to lightly brush some chalk paint on there, but it wasn't dark enough, so I came back and did a much heavier, thicker second coat, but still let the wood shine through. 
Next, I took two gallon paint sticks and I used those to space out in between my words that I'm gonna write on this uh, sign. And I also used one to make sure that the uh, words were level. Um, and then I just used a pencil to write the words all down my sign. Um, I did have to work with the spacing because I wrote it um, vertically instead of horizontally onto this sign. But I got the idea for this sign just by googling winter signs. And this sign just popped up that um, it was a palette winter wood sign and you could buy it from somewhere I don't exactly remember where it was a smaller version um, and it was like $30 uh, to buy a sign like this so I copied the way it looked onto this palette and I think it turned out really good I just used a sharpie paint pen to fill in all of the letters and add all of the details and I think it turned out really cute and perfect for a winter sign to add to my front porch this season. Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know. Baby with her. Okay, this fourth winter DIY is ridiculously easy. I found this picture at Goodwill. It's originally from Target and it's in really good condition. It didn't have a price on it actually at Goodwill. So they were gonna try to sell it to me for $5.99 and I decided that I didn't want it. And then they came back and said, oh, okay, we'll sell it to you for $1.99 and I said, all right, sure, I'll take it for $1.99. So I thought that was a great deal. So I brought it home and I printed out some words on my Cricut. I printed out winter wishes in, this is in the font, The Skinny from dafont.com. I'll link it down below in the description. It's a free font that you can download onto your computer. Um, and it looks like the Ray Dunn font, which I love. But it is a little bit more difficult to transfer on to whatever project you're trying trying to transfer it onto. You have to be really careful that it doesn't rip or tear um, since it's really skinny, I guess. So as you can see, I ripped the W, but I was able to fix it, no big deal. Um, so that was it for this project. I just used it as a little winter vase and put some cotton and some lamb's ear in it, and that was it. For this last DIY, it was ridiculously budget friendly. Um, it cost me nothing to make this project. I just went out in my backyard and picked up three large sticks and then I brought it inside and broke the sticks down into 24 smaller pieces. Then I just took four smaller pieces and crisscrossed them to make a snowflake and I hot glued all of the pieces down together. Then I did this five times so I had five snowflakes. Now my sticks were damp because they were outside in the snow so I was just doing this project on a whim um, so I didn't have time for them to dry out but I would recommend like laying them inside and drying them out for a few days so that way they would hold together better. To keep them together and reinforce the hot glue, I took some twine and wrapped that around the middle of each of the snowflakes and hot glued the twine down. And that just kind of kept everything in place. And I did that to all five of the snowflakes. Next, I decided to take some white chalk paint and dry brush each of the snowflakes so they looked more like snowflakes and not just sticks all put together. <laughs> After the paint was dry, I took some Mod Podge and I brushed each snowflake edge with the Mod Podge. And then in my jar, I had some old Epsom salt. So I dipped each branch in the Epsom salt. 
um, that didn't work out so well. I moved to using a plate and just sprinkling the Epsom salt over the uh, snowflake and that worked out a lot better. So I don't know if you guys have any tips or tricks for keeping Epsom salt on any projects like this. I did a project last year with uh, branches and put Epsom salt on them and they tend to fall off a lot and make a big mess. So let me know if you have any ideas on how to keep that Epsom salt on. The last thing I did was tie some twine around each of these snowflakes to hang them from an old frame I had. Should ever let you go. Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get in. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed these DIY winter decor ideas. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Thank you guys so much for watching this past year. And if you've been with me from the beginning, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I really appreciate it. You guys don't know how much it really means to me and that you've helped me out these past couple years. I really enjoy making videos and posting them for you guys and coming up with new ideas. So I can't wait to see what 2020 brings. I won't have a video for you guys next week because it's Christmas and I'm going to take the week off to spend time with my family. So I will see you guys the week of New Year's. I'm not sure if I'll have a video on New Year's Eve, which will be Tuesday, which is my normal posting time, or if I'm going to wait till after New Year's. So I don't know. Make sure those bells are rung either way so that way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And happy holidays holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't want to wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't.